Hello, oh, can you hear me? Hello, teacher Lorena. Hello, Jose. There's Allison. Hi, Allison. Okay, so only Jose Isaias is in class today. Allison, good evening. I won't be able to. Okay, Allison, thank you. There's Raphael. <clears throat> Hello, Raphael. Class, yes or no? It was hot today. Class, can you hear me? Hello, hi, hello. Hi, good evening. Hi, hello. Hi, teacher. I talk, but Okay, we're going to do the video. Let me share this with you. Do you see my screen? Yes. Thank you, okay. Yes. Hi, let's keep on talking about relative clauses. This time they can occur in the subject or the object of the sentence. Stay around and listen to the explanation. Relative clauses and noun clauses. A relative clause can occur in the subject or the object of a sentence. Something that bugs me is people who take up two seats on a crowded bus. The thing that I can stand is co-workers who leave their cell phones ringing on their desks. The thing I can stand is co-workers that leave their cell phones ringing on their desks. Some sentences use a relative clause and a noun clause beginning with a question word such as when. The thing that I hate is when kids ride their scooters on the sidewalk. One thing that bothers me is when my friends don't show up on time for things. What is a relative clause or adjective clause? Relative or adjective clauses provide information about a noun or pronoun in either the subject or the object of a sentence. Relative clauses, use. Relative or adjective clauses give additional information about a noun in either the subject or the object of a sentence. They are dependent clauses. Relative clauses help connect two separate ideas. For example, that is the school. I went to that school as a boy. That is the school which I went to as a boy. Relative pronouns. 
Relative pronouns introduce relative clauses. Relative clauses tell us which person or thing the speaker means or refers to. Who is the subject, whom the object, meaning people. Which, whose, refers to things. That, instead of who, whom or which, where, when, and why, gives the reason why. They are relative adverbs. Remember, the pronoun refers to the same thing as the relative pronoun. Example, the students are smart. They are learning relative clauses. The students who are learning relative clauses are smart. Who is used instead of they? Let's go over this example. One thing that I hate is people who talk during a movie. One thing is the subject of the main clause. Leaving us with that I hate is the relative clause that describes the subject. Noun clauses. A noun clause is a sentence inside a sentence. A noun clause gives more detailed description of a subject or object of a sentence. Let's take a look at these words. They are noun clause markers or connectors. That, if, whether, wh words, how, what, when, where, which, who, whom, whose, why. WH ever words, however, whatever, whenever, wherever, whichever, whoever, which is informal, and whomever, which is formal. We want you to note, except for that, noun clause markers cannot be omitted. Only that can be omitted, but it can be omitted only if it is not the first word in a sentence. Let's take a look at these sentences. Subject, noun clauses. Noun clauses are subjects of verbs. That George learned how to swim is a miracle. Whether Fred can get a better job is not certain. What Mary said confused her parents. However you learn to spell is okay with me. Notice the structure. Subject noun clause plus verb plus object. Object noun clauses. Noun clauses as objects of verbs. We didn't know the bill would jump. Can you tell me if Fred is here? I don't know where he is. George eats whatever is on his plate. Again, notice the structure. Subject plus verb plus object noun clause. Read this sentence with me. One thing that bugs me is when people talk during a movie. Let's work with this sentence. There are two clauses in this sentence. The bugs me is a relative clause. And when people talk during a movie is a noun clause. Now type examples using relative clauses in the subject and in the object of a sentence. Do you have questions? Uh, can I can I give to you an example? Mm -hmm. About, uh, for example, uh, my brother who is a mechanic uh, repaired my car last week. Yes. Is correct. Yes. Okay. I got it. Okay. Good. Thank you. Does anybody else have questions? Okay, uh, let's continue. Me, mm -hmm. Yes. Me. Um, so one of those examples that that she was showing us have a weather. So one thing weather is, is, is the same like if, right? Or yes. is, there, is there any rule? Or no, when you say something? weather, weather, it doesn't matter which side. No, I'm no, but but you are 
I, I don't know if I my pronunciation is is correct, but I'm not referring to climate. No, I know. Oh, okay, okay. The, the pronunciation is very similar. It's, oh. it's maybe the same. Weather. Um, give me something to drink. What do you want? I don't know. Soda. What soda? I don't care whether it's Coke or Pepsi. Oh, okay. So it, it's the same if I say... If. I don't know if it is soda or 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 tea. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter if I use if or whether. At the end, it is the same. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Okay, so for example, here we have who and whom. Which. Whose. Okay, who we understand, right? Yes. Whom? Um this is this is a very yes. um even even native speakers don't use this correctly. Whom? Whom is the object of who? Remember what is the subject? The the one that oh. performed the action. Good. And then what is an object? Is the one that received the the, the, the action. So it's, it's similar like me and I. Exactly. So for example, who and whom? Whom is example. To whom it may concerned. You know when you write a letter to a company, but you don't know who to who? Have you ever written an email or a, a, or a letter to a company, but you don't know to who? So usually you start, to whom it may concern. What does that mean? Uh -huh. So it says whom, a quien. Always, always, you have to use to. To whom? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Next, we have which. Which is el cual? The girl which I like. lives in Estonia, example. The only difference is that who and which, because who is for people and which is for objects. So actually the correct way would be the girl who I like is from Estonia. And the car which I drive is automatic. Okay, next we have that. The I, I have a question, teacher. Yes. So which is for objects? for things yes so it's the same for who so you said uh, the car which i drive mm -hmm. instead of which i can use the car whose i drive no who is only for people no whose i mean oh no, no. That... That, that's next that's next right now okay next we have whose whose is a possession and yes dennis it can be for people or objects For example, whose? The, uh, the house I bought, whose previous owner was 
an old couple. Next, we have that. That has been Chivo, porque... So forget who, whom, and which. Just use that. That's the so, most common. Yes. So let me go back to my examples. The girl that I like lives in Estonia. Or the car that I drive is automatic. Yeah. And next we have where, when, and why. Those are... Those are easy, right? Uh, teacher, but yes. I would like to, to talk a little bit more about who and whom, just, just to make sure, because sometimes I, I, I get a bit confused, but I, I think that I am very close to understand the difference between those. Yeah, you know so, what happens? Whom is not very common. And it's not used in many situations, but yes, I understand. But hold on, let me uses of whom. Actually, I remember one song that is maybe you you know that song, and it says "For whom the bell dolls." Uh huh. The, the, you know, from, of course, Metallica. Exactly. So in this case, for example, the 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 bell are the ones that perform the action. So for exactly. whom the bell dolls. But if I am mm -hmm. saying uh, for whom, for who, instead of the belt, make that sound, uh, maybe there is a boy that is making that sound in that case, no, I then, should be using who. The correct way of, of that is, well, that's not correct, actually. Mm -hmm. Seria, who is sounding the belts? Okay. Who is the so In that Sorry. case, they are referring to to one person who is making the action. So, mm -hmm. okay. Well, let me check one thing. Let me see if I can open it. Give me one second. Let me see. No, les puedo enseñar esto porque de YouTube. Hold on, give me one second. Let me see if I can find you a better one. Okay. Chip with him. Okay, look. How to use who and whom? Do you see my page, class? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Basic rules. I love basic rules. I like every. Every basic explanation is the best because if you if if I explain to you in a complicated, it's more difficult. So if you understand basic, it's like like when you drive, meter primera is the, the most important. And then if you can meter primera, then go second, third, fourth. Well, but now it's everything's automatic. So but okay, so look, who who is chasing that toy? Yes, who is the subject? Do you see this? Yes. Who is the president? Who is your boss? 
Now, whom is a direct object and indirect object? Example, whom is that woman chasing? ¿Qué dice ahí? ¿A quién persigue esa mujer? Exactly. Who is the subject? The woman. The woman. She's doing the action. What is she doing? She's chasing. ¿A quién? I don't know. An object. <laughs> One thing very important about whom is that we never know who it is. Okay. So, whom is that woman chasing? Whom are you working with? Whom are you living with? Next, whom is an indirect object? To whom is that boy running? So, the boy is running to somebody, right? Maybe his mother, father, grandparents. But it's actually to whom? Van a ir muchos nativos decir to who. Pero eso es whom, a quien. Can you share that link? Sure, hold on. Hold on, we'll do more, there's more. Okay. Who, subject of a sentence. The subject is the person performing the action. Example, the dog ate the cake. Who ate the cake? Today, the teacher the talked. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Today, the teacher talked to the student. Who talked to the students today? That very simple to understand this, right? Who? The subject that of the sentence. Who who won the World Cup this year? Okay, forget it. Let's continue then. Let's continue. Um, so I will share the, the link with you later, uh, Dennis. Okay, so let's continue here. Instructions, read the following problems. Decide which clauses are relative and which are non-clauses. Okay, the thing that I hate is when kids ride their scooters on the sidewalk. Number two, one thing that bothers me is when my friends don't show up on time for things. Some things that bug me is people who take up two seats on a crowded bus. And the thing I can't stand is coworkers who leave their cell phones ringing on the desk. So when kids ride their scooters on the sidewalk, it's a non clause or a relative clause? It's non clause. Okay, that I hate, it's a non clause or a relative clause? Relative. Relative clause. Good. Who have their cell phones ringing on their desk? I'm sorry. Relative clause. That bugs me. Relative. Relative clause. When my friends don't show up on time for things. No. 
non consular. No. That bothers me. Relative class. That I can't stand. Relative no. Okay, I heard relative first. I heard both here. Who take up two seats on a crowded bus? Relative. 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 And yes, we got them all right. Okay, next. In this section, participants will be able to use phrases to talk about annoyance. Do you know what is annoyance? I don't know. I don't know. Like a mosquito at night? Like, it's, it's annoying. Yes. A fly. Mocas, they're annoying. Cats in the night, they are annoying. Okay, let's listen to this. You know, something that drives me crazy is waiting for people. What drives you crazy? She drives me crazy. Verbs. Drive, get, make. Phrases. On someone's nerves. Someone crazy. Someone down. Someone mad. Someone sick. Someone out of the wall. Someone's blood boil. Someone's goat. Under someone's skin. I will give you a minute. Try to make all the combinations possible. They have to make sense. Once the time is up, I will show you the phrases. Phrases to talk about annoyance. Drive someone crazy. Drive someone up the wall. Get on someone's nerve. Get under someone's skin. Get someone down. Get someone's goat. Make someone mad. Make someone sick. Make someone's blood boil. You may use these phrases to express annoyance in the following exercise. How do these situations make you feel? Discuss them in class. Number one, people laughing at someone's mispronunciation. Number two, people eating on public transportation. Number three, people listening to very loud music. How do these... Okay, so phrases... Do you understand the expression drives me crazy? Yes. 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 Pretty much they're all drives me crazy and drives me up the wall. It's the same. Now, this could be for something good or for something bad. Maybe or someone who is fall in love exactly when you're crazy in love you can say man you drive me crazy 
There's even a famous song from the 90s, I think. Remember that song? She drives me crazy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's a cool song. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah. But in this case, she's saying uh, he he's saying he's crazy for her. Okay, get on someone's nerve. Get under someone's skin. That's the same. Both means like empathy. Yes. Okay. No. Oh. Have you seen in soccer? I'm sorry? Okay. Let me give you one, one example. Have you seen in soccer when they talk to each other, the players, and they cover themselves? Yeah. Usually they're saying bad things because there's a psychological game. Mm -hmm. So people say, hey, relax, man. He's trying to get under your skin. I have a friend. His uncle era Mandingo Rivas. Do you know Mandingo Rivas? No. Well, Mandingo Rivas was a no. soccer player. He was a soccer player from El Salvador. He was in España 82. Uh, and one day he was telling us that uh, when, when El Salvador played Argentina in El 82, Argentina le decía... Indios, guerrilleros, son basura, to their ear. Vayanse a su guerra, pinche. No pinche, pero. But why, why do you think Argentina was doing that? Yeah. Because they were trying to get under their skin, get them angry. Okay. Hey. Yes. Well, remember Sinadine Sidan, el cabezazo. Bah. Yes. The the other player from Italy, he did a good job. He got under his skin. And look at what happened to Sinadin Sidan. I mean, what a terrible way to finish a, a great career. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you understand what is get uh, on someone's nerve or get under someone's skin? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now listen, get someone down or get someone's goat. We don't, that really doesn't exist anymore. Ignore those. Make someone mad or make me mad. What makes you mad? For example, you know what really, really gets me mad? Or what makes my blood boil? When I'm driving and somebody... Cemented. But no permission, no lights. They just cut in. That really gets me mad. Do you have any other questions? Makes me mad uh, with get at someone's nerve is similar. No, um, yeah, but look, but the, the difference is that when someone gets under your nerve, that person has estado trabajando un tiempo to get on your nerves. When someone gets you mad is cuando a veces explotas de la nada, like, ah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, good question. For example, Jose Saías, what gets you mad? Uh, for example, when I get when my brother takes my car, for example. Oh. When your brother takes your car. Yes. Oh, man. Yeah, I would get mad, too. Yeah, man. Where's my car? Oh, I took it. Oh, oh I get it. What about you, Claudia? Take the keys and get the car. Yeah. 
Mm. What about you, Claudia Maria? When do you get mad? Or what gets you mad? Um, in what general, makes you mad? Mm -hmm. traffic and people who drive very slow. Oh, yeah. Makes you mad? <laughs> it, it, it really makes me mad. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. What about you, Suima? What makes you mad? Or let me change. What makes your blood boil? When the person not don't make a fila. Doesn't, no make, sé cómo doesn't make line. Uh-huh, doesn't make me mad. Makes me makes mad. Makes me mad. Good. What about you, Lisette Castillo? What makes your blood boil? That my daughter does not over me. Makes, but you see, pero diga lo más importante, lo que quiero que diga, makes my blood boil. Makes me mad. Makes That's... Make some blood Make some make. No, may okay. Listen, listen to my question again. What makes your blood boil? Blood boil. Okay. Mm. Teacher. Uh, no, no. One second, please. Yes. Oh, hold on, Rafael. Mm -hmm. Lisa? What's the meaning? What's the meaning of get someone's gut? That that was an old expression, but really we don't use that anymore. It's like um he took your turn, he took your he took your place. Okay, Lisa, so what makes your blood boil? Um, I understand the phrase, and but it it's reference um guardar algún secreto sobre alguien. No. no, I don't understand the phrase. Okay, thank you. Yo sé, yo sé. De hecho, yo sé que no entendieron lo. Muchos no entendieron lo 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 anterior. Pero ya pregunté 22 veces porque voy contando. Hoy, do you understand? No solo a usted, a todos. Y hay un, to un silencio total. Hoy y ayer, entonces mejor he decidido. Ya no, o sea, si no me responden, yo asumo que entienden. Pero eso es lo que pasa, que cuando yo, y le llega el punto a ustedes, dicen, ahí es cuando me dicen, I don't understand. Y si yo nunca les hubiera escogido a ustedes, hubieran terminado esta clase hoy, Y de verdad fue una hora perdida. Porque pudieron haber preguntado, pudieron haber entendido. Esto es algo muy interesante, estos temas. Pero no sé por qué no hablan. Ya ni le, se los prometo, ya no les voy a pedir que hablen. Makes me mad. <ríe> no, no, de verdad, como profesor, really makes me mad because me quedo, wow, yo no quiero hablar. I speak English. You need to speak English. But you don't talk. Y de verdad, a veces les digo, tengo 16 personas conectadas. Do you have questions? Y solo veo esto. Well, do you have questions? Everybody understand. Do you have questions? Y lo peor que ya ni me dicen ni sí ni no. Solo se quedan callados. Entonces no sé si me están oyendo. Pero anyways. Um, blood boil es hervir la sangre. Dice el castigo. Okay, Entonces, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so listen, listen, there's one thing very different. Make me mad and, ble o sea, make me mad is angry, ¿verdad? But mm -hmm. make my blood boil is... Mm. Yes. What makes your blood boil? Let, let me give you an example. Last, no, wait. 
Last week, I think I was in Sertracen. I was making a line. And in front of me, there was this man. And a little girl was selling candies. Yes. yes. For example, the bad attention in the hospital. Okay. Make some blood boil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, you know, but the, the only difference is that when you say makes my blood boil, is that you're going to take action. Okay. What, last week I was in Sertracen and um, I was in line and there was a little girl. This girl, she was maybe, I don't know, 10, 11 years old. And there was a man in front of me and he was looking at that little girl you can imagine. He was looking at that little girl with um, like sex object. That made my blood boil so bad. And uh, he says, um, but this person, so this was, I don't know. Um, primero lo analicé, ¿verdad? Y, y yo dije, sí, creo que en una pelea le gano. <laughs> Because he, he made my blood boil. And he asked that little girl, ¿y qué vendes? Ah, los dulces, cinco por el dólar. Y si te doy dos, ¿qué más me vas a dar? And I just says, me das asco. You, I, 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 it made my blood boil, like... You know, and, and I, I don't know. So you can imagine, right? You, oh, he just. Did you say aloud? Oh, yeah, I did. Yes. Did he say this something? Mm. Yeah. Did he, he say something? He was shocked. He, he, He's I, not used to the pers a person uh, says what he, what, what, what do you think? Yes, but maybe I think he didn't he didn't realize that somebody was watching him. But what made my blood boil is at the beginning I was looking at him, looking at the little girl and he was looking at her with lust. Do you know what lust is? Lujuria, lust. Yeah. And yeah. from that moment, from that moment my 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 blood started boiling. So I was waiting and waiting for oh, one more, one more, and I will punch you. And when he told that to that little girl, and I told, you make me sick. Okay, la otra. You make me sick, you son of a... And he just looked at me and... and he was He was actually... He didn't say anything. He stayed quiet. He just continued the line. And I was, I was, uh, I was waiting for him to say something because I really, really wanted to punch him. But, but so do you understand the difference? I didn't, he didn't make me mad. He made my blood boil, especially when he told that to the little girl. And then I realized, boy, I lo grabado, man. <laughs> I should have recorded him on, you know, because I imagine he has done something in the past. He's a sick man. Okay, so that makes my blood boil. Well, that day he made my blood boil. You know who? Sure, I have a question. Yes. Uh, makes me, make someone sick is to up, makes me blow boil. No, for example. for example, that that man. I told you, you lady, me das asco, you know, me das asco is like it's the, it literally is you make me sick. Yeah. 
Uh -huh. Ok. Ya, yeah. a I mí mean, make sick es también dos cosas, you know. Um, In here. Yeah. Yes. Um, you know, that man, people like that man, he really made me sick because I was very angry. And maybe, maybe because that expression comes because when you're very, very angry, you feel it in your stomach. That is true. Yeah, when you're very angry, it's your stomach. That, that's why maybe that expression, you make me sick. <laughs> what about you, Claudia Marcela? What makes you, what makes your blood boil? Mm -hmm. um, maybe when I'm in the, uh, on the bus and suddenly the driver turns on very loud the music. It doesn't matter what kind of music it is. But I really hate when it's very loud. Oh yeah. And hard my that makes my blood boil. <laughs> okay, good. Hey class, did you see the video yesterday? I sent you the video on, on WhatsApp, the Olympic man? Yes. That was sad. Did you see when he was crying and the father helped him? Hmm. All right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so do you uh, have any other maybe doubts, dudas? Make someone mad, makes me sick. Like, you know, get on my nerves. Get under someone's skin. No, it's okay. For me. I have, oh, okay. L let me give you another expression of get on my nerves. My wife has a friend. She has four children with four different men. But it's okay. That's not a problem. But she drinks, she parties, and she is always complaining about love. Los hombres son... Blah, 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 blah. And she always meets her boyfriends in a bar or in a party. So I don't like her. I mean, she's she's my wife's friend because for since they were little, they are always in contact. But um, she gets on my nerves. She gets on my nerves because... Every time she 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 visits, you know, hi Amiya, los hombres. I I have such bad luck with men. Men are terrible. Oh my god! Oh my god! Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe it's not the men the problem. Maybe you are the problem. But anyways, yeah, because you know, hey, you are casi forty years old. You have four children, four different fathers. You drink, you party, you dance, and men are the problem. So I don't like her. She gets on my nerves. So when she comes, I find an excuse and, and I go somewhere because I will listen to the same story. Y me muerdo la lengua por... Because I want to tell her the truth. Yeah. So do you understand that expression? Get Get on my nerves? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, do you have any other questions here, May? Um, or do you want to give an example? Does someone drive you crazy? Does someone make you sick? Does something make you sick? Uh, for example, it's made me sick when someone is. Talking while is eating. Okay. When somebody's talking, when they're eating. While, while eating. Oh, while they're eating. Oh, yeah. You see the food in their mouth. Yes. And some food out of her hair or... 
Yeah, and after they start, <laughs> they start. Yeah, that, yeah, that's true. Yeah, sure. All right, uh, do, do, do. Dennis, we cool. Yeah, yeah. All right. I'm sorry, Rafael. You told me that. I'm sorry. What was your question, Rafael? Oh, uh, get someone's goat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Rafael. This is a very, very, very old expression. Tan vieja que ya no es como decir vosotros. Existe, pero ya no se usa. So, we, get someone's goat is like, oh man, tomaste mi turno. Oh, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so don't worry. Don't don't use get someone down or get someone's goat. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, Claudia Maria. Oh yeah, you get you get mad when you're driving. You said. Yeah. Okay, let me see here. Okay, and like I promised yesterday, we're going to do this. Dennis? Yes? I'm going to put the link on the chat. Okay. What what do you see right now on my on my on my screen class? There is nothing else than your camera. Oh really? Okay. Yes. Oh I'm not sharing. Okay, hold on. What about now? Uh yeah, there is a word, uh, right? Word. Word document. Okay. So watch, look. We have I, me, myself. Remember yesterday we practiced what is I? Yeah. Okay, what is the difference between I and me? Is that I is used when we are the ones that perform the action. Not when we, is... not when we, it's when uh, I am the one. <laughs> because I is singular, remember. I'm sorry, what, what was the question? I think no, that I got confused. No, no, the, no, your your explanation was correct, but, but you're saying we. Oh, and I, I and me. Plural. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. So, so, yeah. So I is when we perform the action, and me is when we are the ones that receive the action. No. Why we is I when I do the action and when I receive the action. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You understand now? Okay. If you say we, you're saying plural. Yeah. 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 So, I, I know. I I is when I. I am the exactly. one that performed the action, and me is when I am the one that received the action. Good. Next, we have my. What is my? Claudia, Maria, Guerrero, Mejia. <laughs> you have a long name. Claudia, Maria, Guerrero, Mejia. Do you know? Do you know that gringos they hate that about Latinos? The whole name. The the full whole name. I yes. Name. Like like when you go <laughs> when you go to a hospital or something, can you put your name? <laughs> it's a pointing. Uh, Claudia Maria Guerrero. <laughs> they say because they 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 only go Claudia Guerrero. <laughs> Pero en la, en los Latinos no se acostumbra. We put a really a complete name. And there are people that have three names. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is my? 
Uh, a possession when I possess I possess something. Can you give an example? Uh, I take the class the English class in um, my computer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but where's my? Yeah, I get. Oh yeah, on my on my computer. <laughs> okay, good, good. good. Uh, yeah. What is your name? My name. Is Claudia. When I, yeah. mm -hmm. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Okay, good. Simple, mm -hmm. right? But now yes, we have thanks. mine. What is mine? Mm -hmm. Okay, class, what is mine? It's similar. Like my, because you can say that is that car is mine okay for example okay yeah that car is mine uh, or my car adjective, adjective yes. a possession yeah the, the two are possessions L listen to jose isaiah's example that car is mine or that is my car Parece ser lo más fácil en español, el mí y el mío. What is the difference? Mi carro y el carro es mío. Oh. Estas son las preguntas que, hey, es cierto. What, what is the difference? <laughs> Very simple. Listen. I'm going to give you a basic explanation. Claudia. Answer complete. What is your favorite color? Claudia Maria. Claudia Maria Guerrero Mia. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite color is blue. Bueno, termina otra Claudia. Claudia Marcela Linares Urquía. <laughs> Because okay. English Corporativo asks for yes. the whole name. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so Claudia Maria Guerrero Mejia. <laughs> what is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Mine is black. What is your favorite food? Uh, I could say that my favorite food is hamburger. Mine is Chinese food. Chinese. Okay. Who mm -hmm. is your, uh, your favorite rock band? Uh, my favorite rock band is Rage Against the Machine. Ooh. Mine is you too, maybe. My, I, I, eh, okay. No, 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 <laughs> but, just... uh, but, but, <laughs> but not, not the recent you too. I, I mean, I am an old school you too. O sea, no los mm -hmm. puedo, no los puedo odiar porque. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love uh -huh. you too desde que era chiquito. I, I don't like you too now. Uh huh. Pero I, uh, I, I, but you understand, right? But before, yeah, I mean, but no uh -huh. lo puedo odiar porque. Yes, right? of course. So, Claudia, what, what was I doing different from you? Uh, use the. When you refer. Uh, Listen Vinyl. one more time. Listen one more time. What is your favorite color? My. Uh -huh. My favorite color is? My favorite color is blue. I'm talking about me. Okay, wait, wait. Uh -huh. So what is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Mine is black. What is your favorite food? My favorite food is hamburger. Mine is Chinese. What is your favorite mm -hmm. rock band? My favorite rock band is Rage Against the Machines. Mine is you too. What what did I do different from you? Uh, I omit the possession. Mm -hmm. Or I omit the subject because it's introduced. Okay. So when Claudia said my favorite food 
Oh, my favorite color is blue. She already introduced the possession, right? The possession is my favorite color. Mm -hmm. Entonces, cuando usamos mine is you omit the possession. So I continue, digo, ah, el mío es negro. Mine is black. En vez de decir así, oigan que feo soy así. Claudia, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. Oh, my favorite color is black. What is your favorite mm -hmm. food? My favorite food is hamburger. Oh, my favorite food. Oh, so it's too repetitive. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when you say mine, you omit. It's like too short. Y eso también es en español, la diferencia entre mi y mío. Mi color sí. favorito es azul. Ah, el mío es negro. Sí. El mío, ya no tengo que decir ni color, ni favorito. Porque está, estoy, estoy siendo el mismo tema. So that is the difference between my and mine. All right, class, do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, teacher. Good. Yeah, it's, it's very simple. You just say mine. Oh, mine is this, mine is that. What is your favorite drink, Dennis? Water. Complete. My favorite drink? My favorite drink is water. Mine is coffee. And water. Mm. Claudia, what is your, uh, Claudia Marcela Linares Urquilla? Imagine y cuando se casen, Claudia Marcela Linares Urquilla de. Amazing. <laughs> I love long names. I have a friend, her name is Guerra, Lorena Guerra, and her husband is Cabeza. Cabeza, something like that. It's Guerra de Cabezas. <laughs> Okay, um, Claudia, what is your favorite? Do you like paint, painters? I love oh. watch, but I don't know the names of the oh. painter. Oh, okay, what is your favorite sport? My favorite sport? I used to practice cross. You used to practice oh, what? Basketball. basketball. CrossFit. Oh, CrossFit. Okay. Basketball and CrossFit. Okay. Mine is um, baseball. Okay. So, do you understand the difference between my and mine now? So, Rafael. Yes. Yeah. Rafael, yeah. what is the difference between my and mine? My is... Song. It's my, my, my. Um, oh, I, I understand. My and my, but uh, I can explain you. Yes, you can. I gave you, I, I gave the class a very simple explanation. Oh, yeah, le puedo decir, my is a possessive adjective and mine is a objective pronoun. I, I was seeing them. But really, what is the difference between... Bueno, okay, Rafael, entonces, ¿qué es la diferencia entre mí y mío? En español. Mi, mi, mi nombre, algo que... Okay. Que me, okay. Para... ¿Y mío? Y mío es... Podría adjudicárselo a ciertas cosas, por ejemplo. Eh, mi carro, eh, el carro es mío, como decir. Eh, ¿Mi carro es mío? No, el carro es mío. Ok. Ok, good. No, Rafael, les estaba explicando hace unos minutos la diferencia de mí y mío. El, es Cuando les digo en español, porque es igual. Cuando decimos mí, introducimos la posesión. No sé si eran los ejemplos que nos estábamos haciendo con Claudia. Claudia me decía, mi color favorito es azul. Y yo le respondía, 
el mío en negro. Sí, entendí esa parte. Ok, no, no. entonces, yeah, entonces la diferencia es con, when I say my, I introduce the possession. When I say mine, I omit the possession. Ok, ok. Pero, watch, listen to this. Uh, si yo le digo, Claudia, what is your favorite food? She says, oh, my, 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 what is your favorite color? Oh, my favorite color is blue. Mine is baseball. So okay, what? That doesn't make sense. No puedo usar mine si no está introducido el tema. Hmm. Mi color sí. favorito es azul. Ah, oh, el mío es béisbol. What? Incoherent. Yes. So no, in this case, Claudia said, my favorite color is blue. Oh, mine is black. My favorite, um, my favorite band is Rage Against the Machine. Mine is U2, the classic U2, not, not the U2 now. Um, all right, Jose, who's your favorite soccer team? My favorite soccer team is Real Madrid. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry for you. Mine is Barcelona, of course. <laughs> no, but it's okay. So yes, says that's holding. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry. No, I'm joking. Very good. Okay, so so no acabó el tiempo, pero igual mañana vamos a hacer you, he, she, we, they. Pero miren, se acuerdan que yo les expliqué algo. De la base, si ustedes se pueden la base, ya se van a poder todos, porque hoy ya les apuesto que ya saben que es he, himself, his, she, her, herself, yes, we, us, ourselves, ok, eso vamos a, a continuar mañana, ok, ok, okay. thank you very much. For the people who participated today, okay. thank you very, very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good evening, bye. everyone. Good evening.